the section of this race promised to be quite a cliffhanger in more ways than one. We're looking at John Tomac on his way down now. Some of the top stars in the practice session had punctured. They crashed and so therefore we weren't seeing them running in the order we'd normally see. And one of the early men to come down this drop was John Tomac. What a khaki watching here by the way. Already this year he's won one of the Grundy grounds at Mount St. Arn. He's been third at Hunter Mountain, third at Capron as such and of course he also rode on Saturday afternoon in the uh, cross country but he found the mud not to his liking and so John failed to finish there up in the medals as he has been in the past downhill man fifth in 92 in the world second in 1991 fourth in uh, 1990 John an ex BMX rider it seems uh, Frank for a BMX rider these uh, whoops are ideal for him is it okay yes um for the BMX riders, it's more easy, of course, because we, we practice. I did BMX, and we are practicing every time on these kind of jumps. But John Tomac has very special style, you can see here, and he used a lot of power too. He was fast this day, but he had a little problem in the wood later, and so he took only the 20s. But people like him, he's very big stars, uh, star, and people like him very much, uh, especially in France. And here it was very difficult to turn on the left, and so... Everybody shot a lot and, and everybody was very, very happy about his, his show. Yeah, John's always been a character. I remember uh, him riding in Barcelona in the early part of the year in the cross-country Grundig series when they came over a big jump and he took his bike and he, he lifted it up and flicked the back wheel and down he came. A great entertainer. This is the man you're watching now. John Tomek, also a great road rider. Rode for 7-Eleven on the road. He rides a rally here. The American has also been a great uh, world champion on the cross-country and the ex-Grundig man. So this fellow is an absolute character. He's now got a small beard by the the way, uh, looks like a seven o'clock shadow, but he's still laid back. But when it comes to racing, this man is a real tear away. Tremendous here, he's got one of these special rally bicycles made of the carbon fiber system in America, but all glued together around the lugs. And his uh, Tioga suspension system working flat out here. John heading on down that problem he had, as Frank mentioned, when he slightly crashed, dropped him back to four minutes 58.9. But John Tomac then, and that was going to see him finally in 20th place. Uh, John, as ever, a great scrum of photographers going around to see this man.